It's the channel that you choose. We're coming back to YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, share, turn on them notifications. It's your favorite look, especially after I spoke. Support the real again. Get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. To the crew, that's the truth. What it up with the visionaries? So, this is what I'm going to start doing because I've been getting <laughs> my revenue snatched. You dig? Over of these little lamos and everything like that. When I say lamos, I'm talking about the TV news stations and stuff like that who, you know, they do... They, they do, you know, go do they research and go put they self in the field and all that and everything like that. So they don't strike me like cuz did. I still ain't I, I ain't going to forgive them for that one. It is what it is, but it is what it is. So I'm going to play it off the phone. So that way we still got my audio. For, for hours last Friday, police made it clear they didn't want to call the 19-year-old who was shot the victim. And now we know why. Police say he stopped his motorcycle in the middle of the highway and walked toward the driver of an SUV with a gun aimed at the driver. But the SUV driver had a gun too. Fox News' Macy Jenkins is live in Fort Worth tonight with the update. Macy. That's where we're going to stop it. Fort Worth, Texas, murder worth. The black dude hop out. He hit a damn SUV. And they say he pulled out the strap and everything. They got cameras all throughout the goddamn I-35. I know because I wrote the I-35 probably about 135 times easily. <sighs> sometimes, bro, sometimes... People don't understand what culture means to mindset, right? If Cuz would have been in Cali, more than likely to seen that gun, somebody would try to run his ass over. Texas, they like, yippee Kaye, bow, bow, bow. You know hear I me? Mean? Now, that's not to say that, you know, in California, cats wouldn't have shot it out with him and everything like that, but. There is no goddamn stand your ground law in California. There's not. Texas, there is. Texas even got castle doctors. I mean, if you enter my home, I can smoke your ass. California don't really got that. We got where you have to say, I have a gun, I'm going to shoot. Get your ass out of my house. Rah, like that type of shit. That's really, that's really the law in California. If somebody break into your shit... You have to announce that you have a gun. And you better shoot their ass in the front and not the back. Because if you shoot them in the back while they're getting away, you're done for. But let's do it this way. The culture in Texas is everybody got a gun. And if you don't got one, you better go get one. With that law they just passed, they say, nigga, you don't even need background checks for guns. Because everybody finna be walking on eggs. So I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking about moving to Dallas. The more and more I'm thinking about moving to Austin. But still. What like. <laughs> what would convince your ass. To show the gun. And not shoot it. I never understood that part. If you draw down on anybody with a gun. Unless you about to rob them. You better be ready to fire that motherfucker. You better be... No, nah, I ain't going to say that. I was about to say something. <laughs> I was about to say something ridiculous. They'd be like, man, you just don't like dude. I'm going to put a video out for Cuz because I really I really want to tell Cuz how to operate when he get up out of here. When he get up out of the, the feds, basically. Because he going to the feds. That ain't no twins about that. But we got to understand something, bro. Just because you got a gun don't mean nobody's scared. Because more than likely they got one, too. And I'm I'm not I'm not trying to advocate do this shit, and I'm not trying to tell y'all to do this shit. But I know if I was from Texas and a motherfucker pulled out the strap and came after me and everything, and I got one on me, I'm for the oh my oh my gosh, they gonna be like, give me your wallet, I'm gonna take this fuck, I don't need that. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna throw it. As soon as I throw it, he gonna get to looking for it and everything like that. I'm gonna. Nigga, we gone. Nah, fuck all that, bro. It's something about guns that make people feel like they got this special power. That they truly just damn near can't be stopped or just amp you up and everything like that. A lot of these cats still got guns and forget that they bitches. And I'm not saying a little 19-year-old die was a bitch. I'm saying more than likely his anger got the best of him. And because of the gang culture, I mean gang culture, the gun culture in Texas is so goddamn different. 
that he just figured, man, I don't know. I don't know. But I can tell you in his last last thoughts before dying is either one or two things. I should have shot this person when I pulled it, or I shouldn't have did that, or I should have let it go. There's a lot of times where I get in road rage, road rage incidents where I'm cussing somebody out. And then I'll, somebody be on the phone and be like, damn, Nash, you talking crazy and reckless. I said, I had to because I'm not about to get close on this person. I'm going to give them all the space and everything like that. That's how I decompress in the moment. I get to saying a bunch of shit. I don't even, half the time, I don't even be speaking English. I be, you know what I'm saying? That type of, yeah, I do that. No cap. But I back my ass off because I understand something because I had a road rage incident. Incident, pardon me. I lost my license. And that humbled me. Just losing my L's. And I said, I could never, ever let goddamn 20 seconds worth of anger determine a whole entire year. I mean, I'm making money from shit I know how to do. I know how to whip damn near everything. I could drive a tank, cuz. I could drive anything. But it is what it is, man. It sucked, but cuz... If y'all got road rage, just think for two seconds. Think for two seconds. Two seconds. Like, bruh. I don't know why the fuck this person did this shit, if they even see me. And am I willing to throw away my life for it? Whether you go to jail for the rest of your life or you die, your life is still over. You can be buried alive or buried without life. It don't matter. So y'all be careful out here in these crazy-ass streets.